PM2.5 is one of the more commonly used terms when discussing air pollution. PM stands for particulate matter, and the 2.5 refers to the size of the particles. Particulate matter is a type of air pollutant that consists of tiny solid particles and liquid droplets suspended in air. PM2.5 specifically refers to particles with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or less, which are small enough to be easily breathed in and absorbed into the lungs. They are the most dangerous type of air pollutants as they can penetrate deep into the lungs and even enter the bloodstream. PM2.5 is produced by a variety of sources, including burning of fossil fuels, wood, or other materials, as well as from construction and agricultural activities. In urban areas, motor vehicles are the main source of PM2.5. As these particles are so small, they can stay in the air for long periods of time and travel long distances, meaning that PM2.5 pollution is a global problem. How does PM2.5 affect human health? PM2.5 particles are particularly dangerous as they are small enough to enter the lungs and even the bloodstream, where they can cause serious health issues. Long-term exposure to PM2.5 can lead to a range of respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, including asthma, bronchitis, heart attack, stroke, and lung cancer. PM2.5 particles can also cause inflammation of the lungs and airways, which can lead to a decrease in lung function and reduce the body's ability to fight off infections. Even short-term exposure to high levels of PM2.5 can cause irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, and can worsen existing respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. Children, the elderly, and people with existing health conditions are particularly vulnerable to the effects of PM2.5 pollution, as their bodies are more sensitive to the pollutants. Young children are especially vulnerable as their bodies are still developing and growing, and their lungs are more susceptible to the effects of air pollution. How can we reduce the effects of PM2.5? The best way to reduce the effects of PM2.5 is to reduce the amount of PM2.5 in the air. This can be done by reducing the number of sources of PM2.5 pollution. This includes reducing emissions from motor vehicles, as well as switching to cleaner sources of energy such as solar and wind power. Other ways to reduce exposure to PM2.5 include avoiding outdoor exercise on days with high levels of air pollution and using air purifiers in the home. Wearing a face mask can also help reduce exposure, but masks should only be used on days when the air quality is very poor. Conclusion PM2.5 is a type of air pollutant that consists of tiny particles and liquid droplets suspended in air. It is produced by a variety of sources, including burning of fossil fuels and motor vehicles, and can travel long distances. PM2.5 is particularly dangerous as it can penetrate deep into the lungs and even enter the bloodstream, where it can cause serious health issues. Reducing the amount of PM2.5 in the air is the best way to reduce the health risks associated with it, and this can be done by reducing the number of sources of PM2.5 pollution.